Hello, counselors and partners. Thank you so much for tuning in to our presentation on Jumpstart Dual Credit. First off, we wanna thank you um, because, because of you, this program is possible. Thank you for helping students and making this program accessible and, and giving them more opportunities to get college credit. My name is Karen Saldana and I am the Jumpstart Academic and Community Liaison. And today, um, me and my colleague, Betty Cervantes, the Jumpstart Specialist, are going to give you a presentation on Jumpstart Dual Credit and how you can bring these opportunities to your students. So for starters, let's um, define what dual credit is. So dual credit is the opportunity for high school students to take college level courses, um, either taught by college professors or high school professors, where they earn both high school and college credit at the same time. These uh, this credit that they earn can not only meet high school graduation requirements, but they can also meet college degree requirements. The awesome thing is that students are able to determine what classes they want to take, and they can also you know, take as many or as little as they want at a time. Dual credit uh, can help students complete their degree in less time. We have students that have not only been ahead a semester, but have students that have graduated with associate degree. So this program is awesome in catering to students in whatever way they need. So now we're going to go over the credit transferability and we get this question quite a lot from your students. So each school district or high school determine what type of credit students will receive and how many uh, credits that is. So for instance, with some partners, one semester class with us equals a year long credit at their high school with other partners, you know, a semester class with us equals a semester credit at the high school. It just depends. And then, of course, the weight on the credit versus AP or honors is also determined by the high school. Washoe County School District does have a very comprehensive list of how these credits are accepted, and it is what we help. Uh, it is what how we are able to see how these classes apply to your side. But we do try to encourage students to work with their counselors and with their school district in order to determine that. We are not in the know of any changes or anything like that. So we try to work very closely with you to make sure we're giving out the most accurate information. So students will typically ask us, will my credits transfer? As we mentioned, we strongly encourage students to work with their high school counselors when it comes to the high school credit. But when on the uh, college credit, they're more than welcome to work with us and we can definitely help them out. If they are wanting to know how classes transfer to colleges or universities, we encourage them to get in contact with those colleges and universities in order for them to see how these credits will be applied there. Um, TMCC transfer courses are accepted by most colleges and universities, and we do have an amazing academic advising department that can help with questions on transferability as well. So now we're going to go into the Jumpstart program. As you all know, um, the Jumpstart program has two distinctions. We have what are called cohort classes, which are classes of pretty much 20 students or more that are either offered at your campus or one of ours. And then we have the J2 TMCC model. This model really caters to the students that are wanting to take any type of course. Um, and typically they take it at a TMCC campus um, mixed in with other college students. So for starters, we're gonna start on cohort classes. So these are classes offered on site at high schools um, that provide accessibility and more opportunities for students. So by having cohort classes at your site, you are removing barriers for these students. They don't have to uh, have transportation as a barrier. A lot of the times if we have grants that can help these students if they qualify for cohort classes. And the great thing is that these classes are not only taught by TMCC faculty, but if you have a qualified instructor at your school that is interested in teaching dual credit, please have them contact me. We can definitely explore those options. Having one of your faculty members teach removes a lot more barriers as like scheduling issues, um, anything like that. The students already know their district teacher. So it's one of those things that's more comfortable for them and it is definitely easier to plan. Students are taking these classes with their fellow high school peers. So a lot of students prefer the uh, cohort option the first go around just because they kind of get their feet wet with dual credit. The great thing is that since they're all taking the same course, they can not only study together, but it's one of those courses that um, from there forward, they'll get you know the confidence to actually take classes on their own at one of the art campuses or take more cohort classes in future semesters. So these courses um, are for dual credit, so the credit can be applied towards their, high, towards their high school graduation requirements, as well as a college degree. And of course, we have various discounts available. 
So typically, if you have one of your district uh, teachers teaching it, the students do get 66% discount, which is huge. If it is one of our faculty members for fall 21 and spring 22, they receive a 50% discount. And we'll, we will go over discounts more um, a little further into the presentation. So a little more information on cohort classes is we do have various opportunities available for cohorts at your school. So we have various pathways, special programs, remedial math courses, or we can create anything that you would like for your students. What this means is that if your school is really interested in, for instance, uh, pre-med, you know, pre-associative science track, we can create those courses for you as long as you can have the enrollment to, uh, to put the students in, in those courses. So for instance, we have the We Teach program at two high schools right now, which is a pathway for uh, teachers. So if you're interested in any type of pathway or if one doesn't exist, I am more than happy to sit down with you and create something to cater for your students. A cohort is typically a group of 20 students or more. Um, typically when we plan a cohort, we always try to plan it for 20 students at least. Um, it does depend on the class caps. There's some classes that have a lower class cap, uh, lower cap, while others have way more room. So it really does depend on, we can definitely talk about those things as we plan these cohort classes. I wanted to remind you all that if you have a cohort being planned for this upcoming semester or any time in the future, we are more than happy to help with the recruitment and outreach for your cohort. What that means is that we will do tabling, we will go up during your lunch hour and tell students about the opportunities. We can host different presentations or webinars where we can go over what class you will be offering, what they need to do to get enrolled in the class and things of that nature. And then lastly, application, and registration workshops are huge. This is where we can actually help students not only apply, but actually go through the steps to enroll for Jumpstart. Some of these steps can be kind of cumbersome for students, so we are more than happy to help them through that process um, so that they can be successful. So look out for a request. They will be going out this month, and you can start requesting for spring 22. If your school already knows what they want to do for the upcoming school year for fall 22, it is never too early to start planning. So I can also send you that class request if you let me know. Now for the J2 TMCC or Jumpstart to TMCC. These courses are offered in different modalities. We have in-person, online, web live, and hybrid. We always get the question of what hybrid is. It's pretty much the in-between of in-person and online. Students will typically have to come in person one day and then they also have an online portion that goes with the class. So students take these courses um, for dual credit, personal interest or advancement. A lot of the students that we get for J2, um, it's either the high school that they go to, to does not offer a cohort or they've outgrown all the you know, science or math offered or we have students that are on track for an associate and need certain classes to meet those requirements. This is open to all um, grades. When we say qualifying GPA, it is qualifying GPA according to the high school. Um, we don't have a GPA requirement, we do have a GPA recommendation. With that said, this is a really fun way for students to gain college experience because they will be on campus taking courses with other college students. And we also have discounts available. For online classes, it's $50 plus fees. And then for in-person classes for fall 21 and spring 22, we have a 50% discount. So we've been talking about discounts and the cost, and I wanted to go over some amazing uh, funding opportunities for this upcoming year. The first one is called the Winsong Foundation. So the Winsong Foundation is um, encouraging 9th through 12th students to enroll in applied technology center programs such as auto welding and machining. This is not a full list of um, degrees that are covered by this funding, but pretty much any career technical education course will be covered. To qualify, students just must be enrolled um, in a CTE course. There are no other qualifications required. So that means it is very open and it can really help students get one step closer to a certificate in CTE. Um, funding will be available for spring 22. So if you have any students that didn't necessarily take um, advantage of the opportunity this fall, we will also have it in spring. The second opportunity, um, we've had it since last spring. So you guys all are pretty familiar with it, but we have the um, ESSER grant. It is for low-income schools of all grades. So typically any student that is low-income can get not only tuition and fees covered, but also textbooks. ESSER is only open to Washoe County School District students. 
Um, so that is important to note. But if you're interested in having a cohort, ESSER can actually help pay for the tuition and textbooks for your students that qualify. The amazing thing is that I keep mentioning textbooks, but a lot of students don't take advantage of the help that it provides for students. If they are on the grants, on our grant list and their counselor administrator submitted a form, these students also qualify to receive a textbook voucher to help them pay for all their textbooks for the courses that they were enrolled in that semester, which is huge. So now on the screen, you'll see a list of popular courses. These are just the list of popular courses, but um, this is nowhere near all the courses that we actually have available for dual credit. Um, friendly reminder, any TMCC course can be a dual credit course. Uh, even, like I said, there's no limit. So this is just some of the most popular courses according to other high school students. But like I mentioned earlier, ask us about pathways and what you can have at your school. And like I said, if you and your school have some type of um, program that they're looking for, or if your school is kind of more focused on uh, STEM degrees, whatever it is, we can definitely help you create a pathway uh, focused around that. So now what's, what courses can students take? So students can enroll into any TMCC course as long as they meet the class prerequisites and it has open seats. So if you go to schedule.tmcc.edu, you will see what courses we're offering that semester in what modality and around how many seats are available. We have various courses available for this fall. We saw that classes did fill up pretty quickly. We're hoping that in the spring, you know, we have more sections available for your students, or if you have a cohort, that's also a great way to secure those spots for your students. Friendly reminder, on the JT, J2 TMCC portion, students are fighting for, well, not necessarily fighting, but are, you know, battling for seats with other college students. So it could be harder for them to get into one of those courses versus a cohort. The amazing thing about Jumpstart that there's so many benefits for it. Um, I've heard this countless amount of times from students that at first they were hesitant to take a college level course, but after taking one class and enrolling in Jumpstart, seeing that they can be successful in a college level course gives them that confidence to keep going. So as I mentioned, some of the benefits are opportunities to earn college and high school credit at the same time. These students are double dipping in a way in the best way possible to not only meet those high school graduation requirements, as well as start taking care of some of the degree requirements that they will need in the future. Students learn valuable skills such as managing their time, planning a schedule and prioritizing deadlines. In high school, it's a lot different for students that are enrolled in that type of course versus a college level course. Students will learn a lot of um, amazing um, skills that they can apply in future classes as well. Another thing is that once students enroll into the Jumpstart program, they actually have access to all TMCC support services. That includes tutoring, counseling, academic advising, just to name a few. And the amazing thing is that on campus, we do have various computer labs. So if students need a computer to work from, we do have a library where if um, students can't afford to um, buy the textbook at times, they're available there for checkout. So those are all benefits that students learn about in the Jumpstart orientation that is required for them to enroll. And then of course, this helps remove barriers for students. Like I said, sometimes students just need that confidence booster and this is an amazing way for them to do it. They can take the course now while they're in high school and kind of see, hey, I can do this in the future and keep moving forward. With that said, there are a lot of responsibilities that go into um, enrolling to the Jumpstart program. So I did mention, you know, different discounts. I mentioned different grant opportunities, but ultimately the Jumpstart program is a self-pay program. So students are responsible for all registration and fees. Um, if there isn't some type of other uh, arrangement made. So I know some schools cover their students 100%. So of course, if there's some type of arrangement already, then they're fine. But for all the other students, they are responsible for these fees. They also have to understand how these TMCC courses are going to complete high school requirements. As I mentioned, we encourage them to work with their counselor because we are not always up to date on how these courses do transfer there. And then for um, homeschool students, we always uh, advise them to work with their homeschool administrator. And then of course, we want to have students understand that college courses are more rigorous and require more work. Um, this is kind of one of those things that for those students that are very independent, this is one of those challenges that they will get, especially when um, enrolling in online classes and being able to stay on track 
they will be responsible for all their courses. They are not going to have someone continuing, continuously reminding them to do their homework, um, do the readings that are required for courses and so on. And then of course, there are co consequences for failing the courses. Failing any Jumpstart course will go on their permanent college transcript. And we want students to understand that so that they take it serious. And it can also have future um, consequences, not only to their GPA, but also financial aid eligibility in the future. The next thing we're going to talk about is the Family Education Rights and Privacy Act, or FERPA. Um, I'm pretty sure you all have FERPA at your schools in one way or another, but Truckee Meadows Community College is required by federal law, regardless of age, to keep students records confidential. That means that although Jumpstart students are under the age of 18, as soon as they apply to TMCC and become a college student, they will be treated as such. With that said, it is very important for them to fill out the permission to enroll form where we do have FERPA waivers so that we are able to communicate freely with our high school administrator and parent. With that said, there are we have various departments in TMCC and the only ones that hold that FERPA waiver are the Jumpstart, is the Jumpstart department. If parents are wanting to get access to any other type of record like admissions and records or anything like that, they will have to add themselves as a third party uh, release on the student's account and they can do that from their My TMCC. Please note that without the student's expression of uh, giving permission, we cannot share any type of records that includes transcripts, um, any issues going on in the current class, um, scheduling, anything like that, of that nature. So without the FERPA release, we are unable to share anything about the classes that the student is taking and the student themselves. Um, please note that, as we mentioned, since we do have FERPA waivers for these students, the Jumpstart staff can help students and parents navigate the enrollment process. And if any issues uh, arise, we are the point of contact. With that said, for um, one student enroll in college courses, we do strongly encourage that they are the only point of contact with college professors. This not only shows them to advocate for themselves, but we want students to kind of get familiar with that process and are able to, you know, ask for help when they need to. Um, if parents need to get involved, I strongly encourage that they get in contact with the Jumpstart team and not the academic department. And then lastly, I did mention we were going to go over discounts later on. So here are the discounts. So um, please note that on the bottom uh, square, you can see all of the fees that we have. So the $20 application fee, it's only a one-time fee. So they only pay that the first semester. After that, that kind of falls off because they've already paid for it, for it. But the rest of the fees are per credit. So those are the fees that get applied to any type of course. So on... Um, the top square, you'll see that all online asynchronous courses are $50 plus fees. In-person courses are $50, excuse me, receive a 50% discount per credit for fall 21 and spring 21, uh, spring 22, sorry, there's a typo there. And then of course, for web life courses, those are treated as in-person courses. So those also receive a 50% discount, which is huge. We've actually never had a discount this big for students. So we're really excited um, to make these courses more accessible. Now I'm going to hand it over to my colleague, Betty Cervantes, the Jumpstart Dual Credit Specialist. Hello, Jumpstart partners. Thank you for joining us. As Karen mentioned, my name is Betty and I am the Jumpstart Dual Credit Specialist at Truckee Meadows Community College. And today I will be going over the Jumpstart um, steps to enroll. There are four steps that students need to complete in order for us to enroll students into classes. All of our Jumpstart students do have an under 18 hold on their account, which just does prevent them from enrolling on their own. So these are the steps that they need to complete in order to get enrolled into the classes they desire. The first one is apply to admissions. The second one is to complete the Jumpstart orientation. The third one is to complete a permission to enroll form. And the fourth one is to pay for classes. I will be going over these steps in detail on the next slides. So the first um, thing that students need to do is they need to apply to, uh, for admissions. They will go to apply.tmcc.edu. And the application takes about 10 to 15 minutes. In that application, they do have to make sure that they're submitting the correct semester. So we have fall, spring, and summer. Once they fill that out and they submit it, then within um, a week or so, they will receive an acceptance letter either through their choice of postal mail or email. In that acceptance letter, it does have very, very important information that um, 
I tell all students that they need to make sure they keep, they either need to, you know, write it down um, in a notebook, uh, screenshot it, send it to another email, because it contains all of their information to log into all of TMCC's platforms, which is the TMCC email, TMCC Canvas, and um, my TMCC. So in that letter, it contains their username and password, their student ID, and their TMCC email. The next step students need to do is the Jumpstart orientation. Once they get that uh, acceptance letter that has their uh, username and password, then they go into Canvas and this is where uh, the orientation will be located. The orientation is very helpful for students to learn the responsibility and roles of the program. And usually that orientation takes about um, 45 minutes to an hour. Once the orientation has been complete, their third step is for students to complete the permission to enroll form. Currently, the permission to enroll form that is online has been taken down for the fall 2021 semester. However, if students are interested in taking a late start class, they can still submit a PDF form and have it sent over to our dual credit email address. The form um, will be live again for the online form on November 1st, and this will allow students to enroll in winter classes if they're interested or um, spring classes of 2022. So basically, uh, we have the online permission to enroll form on our Jumpstart website. The students get that filled out. Uh, it requires student information, parent information, the classes they want to take. They do have to make sure that they attach test scores. If any of the classes they are requesting need test scores. And then once that gets submitted, the form will automatically get routed to their high school counselor. It is very, very important that when the student is filling it out that they type in the counselor email address correct. If not, it does not get routed to the counselor. It gets routed to whatever email the student put on the form. So once that a form gets routed to the high school counselor, the form will receive an email to the to the link of the form, and then the counselor will approve it and we will get it back and then we will process the form within three to five business days. The fourth step is for students to pay for their classes. Here we just have put down that for the fall semester, enrollment starts in April and students don't have to pay until August. And then for the spring, enrollment starts in November and students don't have to pay um, until January. However, as Karen mentioned, there are right now great funding opportunities and resources for students to get paid for their classes. So I highly recommend that this obstacle should not become an issue, at least until spring 2022, because there are funding opportunities where students can get their classes paid for. One of the biggest recommendation steps that we recommend students to do if they do not have any test scores, either because they haven't taken a placement test or because they didn't do well on their placement test is um, to take a placement test here at TMCC. So testing is actually not required for admissions. Um, and the test scores are only determined to help students place into their classes for English and math. So the Jumpstart program does accept scores such as ACT, SAT, AP, and also high school transcripts if the student is a senior. If these students uh, either don't have any of these test scores or they do not qualify by any of these um, test scores that I described, then they need to take the AccuPlacer. The AccuPlacer uh, is proctored online at the moment and also uh, in person. So if students do not have placement scores for either English or math, then they need to take the AccuPlacer. There are other classes that don't require test scores. So for example, political science, psychology, sociology, those do not require test scores. Test scores are only needed if they are for either uh, in English or math. As I mentioned, we do have alternative pathways for high school students if they are senior standing. So if they have an unweighted um, overall 3.0 GPA or higher, then we can use their high school transcript to go into English 101. Another option is if they have a B average in their senior English class, we can place them into English 101. And then the third option is if they have a B or higher in their AP English course, then we can place them into English 101. 
For Math 120 or Math 126, students must have an unweighted GPA of 3.0 or higher and have a B in their second semester of Algebra 2. So what if the student doesn't have test scores or they don't meet the qualifications by their high school GPA? This is not a problem for TMCC. TMCC actually now has different um, pathways for students to take their English and math. So if the student uh, you know, doesn't have the chance to take the Accuplacer, doesn't have the test scores or didn't do well on the Accuplacer, then for math, they have two options. They can either take Math 126 plus 26, which is a support class, or their second option is to take Math 120 and Math 20, which is also a support class. For English, students can go into English 100. English 100 is a um, a class that has a support class within itself, but students, once they take that, then they can transfer over to English 102. So we do want to let you guys all know that we do have um, TikTok. Uh, so if any of you guys are interested, you guys can follow our TikTok um, here, which you can just scan here, and then it will give you any updates that we have for TMCC. I want to uh, thank you um, for everybody that has joined us today. It has been a pleasure letting you guys know about the Jumpstart program. If you do have any questions, uh, you may feel free to contact us. Our email address is dualcredit at tmcc.edu. On this slide, I have also put our contact information for Karen and myself. You can either give us a call or send us an email. Thank you all so much for joining us. Um, for any student issues or enrollment questions, please contact Betty. For any questions on planning classes or developing any, any type of pathway, please contact my, uh, me. Thank you once again for joining us. Um, you are the reason this program is possible. If at any point in the future we can do anything to better the program or help you, please feel free to reach out.